children today let us learn division by 10 100 and 1000 let us begin with the division by 10 look at the board we have solved two examples by division method look at the first example 340 7 divided by 10. Here we got the quotient as 34 and remainder as 7. Now look at the second example. 56 181 divided by 10. Here we got the quotient as 568 and remainder as 1. Did you notice that when we divided both the numbers by 10, the digit in their ones place formed the remainder and the remaining digits formed the quotient. Now, let us solve one more example without actual division. Find out the quotient and remainder of 468 divided by 10 we already know that the digit in one's place of the dividend forms the remainder thus here 8 is the remainder now the remaining digits form the quotient thus here 46 is the quotient next is division by 100 Look at the board. We have solved the two examples again by division method. Look at the first example. 321 divided by 100. Here we have got the quotient as 3 and the remainder as 21. Now look at the second example. 747 divided by 100. Here we got the quotient as 78 and remainder as 47. In these examples, when we divided both the numbers by 100, the ones and tens digit of the dividend formed the remainder and the remaining digits form the quotient. Now let us solve one more example without actual division. Find out the quotient and the remainder of 6348 divided by 100. We know that the digits in ones and tens place of the dividend forms the remainder Thus, here 48 is the remainder. Now the remaining digit form the quotient. Thus, here 63 is the quotient. Next is division by 1000. Look at the board. We have solved the two examples by division method. Look at the first example. 9318 divided by 1000. Here we have got the quotient as 9 and remainder as 3018. Now look at the second example 19400 divided by 1000 again. Here we got the quotient as 19. And remainder as 400. Here we, when we divided both the numbers by 1000, the ones, tens and hundreds digits of the dividend formed the remainder. And the remaining digits formed the quotient. Now, let us solve one more example without actual division. Find out the quotient and remainder 
of 56,984 divided by 1000. We know that the digit in the ones place, tens place and the hundreds place of the dividend form the remainder. Thus, here 984 is the remainder and the remaining digits form the quotient. Thus, here 56 is the quotient. Wasn't it easy? Dividing by tens, hundred thousand children. Today, I will teach you division of three and four digit numbers by one digit number. So, let us begin. Divide 512 by 8. Children, there are a few steps to simple division. Let us see these steps while finding the question. For 512 divided by 8. Firstly, compare the digits. We compare the leftmost digit of the dividend with the divisor here. The leftmost digit is the digit in the hundreds place that is 5. 5 is smaller than 8. So, we consider the digits 51 together here. 51 is greater than 8. So, by using the table of 8, let us find out the product which is equal to or less than and nearest to the digit 51 of the dividend. The nearest product is 48 as 6 into 8 is equal to 48. Write 6 in the tens place in the question and the number 48 under 51. Now subtract 48 from 51 which is equal to 3. Next we need to compare 3 and 8 here. 3 is smaller than 8. So we bring down the ones that is 2 and get the number 32 here. 32 is greater than 8. So we can divide it by 8. 4 into 8 is equal to 32. Right? 4 in the ones place in the question and the number 32 under 32. Now subtract 32 from 32 which is equal to 0. Now it is time to check our calculation using the following relation. Dividend is equal to divisor into question plus remainder. 512 is equal to 8 into 64 plus 0. That is 112 plus 0. So, here we get 512 is equal to 512. Hence, our division is correct. How about solving one more problem? But this time, we will take a four-digit number. It would be interesting. What is 6,326 divided by two children here? Also, we will use the same process explained in the previous example. We start with comparing the digit in the thousand place that is 6 with 2 
yes six is greater than two and therefore we can divide six by two here we use the table of two such that the product is equal to or less than and nearest to six three into two is equal to six hence we write three above the six and the number six in the thousands column under six subtract six from six the remainder is zero and it is written in the thousand column now bring down the next digit that is three and write it beside zero what do we do next back to comparison three is greater than two so we can divide three by two one into two is two hence we write one above three and two below three now by subtracting we get the remainder one now we bring down the next digit that is two therefore we get the number 12 we compare 12 plus 2 12 is greater than 2 so we can divide it by 2 as 6 into 2 is equal to 12 we write the number 6 above 2 in the question and the number 12 under 12 subtract 12 from 12 which gives us 0 which we write in the tens column now bring down the next digit that is 6 and write it beside 0 here 6 is greater than 2 and therefore we can divide 6 by 2 as we know 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so we write 3 above the 6 in the question and the number 6 in the ones column under 6 subtract 6 from 6 the remainder is 0 so that can be written in ones column our division is complete and it is time to check our answer as we know that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder so we will multiply 3163 that is quotient with the divisor that is 2 when we multiply 3163 by 2 we get the answer 6326 plus 0 that is remainder and we get the answer 6326 so that is the answer and here this proves that we have solved the question correctly it wasn't that tough to solve the division of three and four digit numbers was it children it's very easy thank you children now let us learn division of three digit number by two digit number division of three digit number by two digit number now the first example that we have given is 783 divided by 12 there are five steps to simple division let us see these steps while finding the question step one is to compare the digit here we compare the leftmost digit that is the hundred in the dividend seven with the divisor twelve 7 is smaller than 12. There are not enough hundreds. So we compare the tens in the dividend. 
with the divisor. Yes, 78 is greater than 12. Therefore, we can divide 78 by 12. So, step 2 is doing the division here. As the divisor is 12, we use the table of 12 to find a product which is equal to or less than and nearest to 2278. So, the nearest product is 72. Hence, we write 6 in the question above 8. Step 3 is to multiply. As we know, 12 into 6 is equal to 72. Now write 72 under 78. Step 4 is to subtract 72 from 78, which is equal to 6. Now, step 5 is to bring down the next digit, that is 3. After bringing down the digit, we repeat, repeat steps 1 to 5 till there are no more digits to find to bring down. So, we now compare 63 and 12. Here, 63 is greater than 12. So, we can divide 63 by 12. Here, we use the table of 12 such that the product is equal to or less than and nearest to 63. The nearest product is 60. So, we write 5 in the question above the 3. As we know 12 into 5 is equal to 60, write the number 60 under 63. Next, subtract 60 from 63, which is equal to 3. Now, as there are no number, no more digit to bring down, we have finished our division. Thus, we get the question as 65 and remainder as 3. Now, let us solve one more example. 2. 99 divided by 14, here 2 is smaller than 14. <clears throat> there are not enough hundreds. So, now compare the tens in the dividend with the divisor. Here, 29 is greater than 14. And therefore, we can divide 29 by 14. Look here, as the divisor is 14, we get the nearest product of 29 as 28. Therefore, we write 2 in question above 9 in the tens place and 28 under 29. Now, subtract 28 from 29, which is equal to 1. Lastly, bring down the next digit, that is 9. Now we compare 19 and 14 again. Here 19 is greater than 14. So we can divide 19 by 14. Here the nearest product is 14. So we write 1 in the question above, 9 in the ones place, and 14 under 19. Next subtract. 14 from 19, which is equal to 5. So here we get the question 21 and the remainder 5. Wasn't it easy to solve the division of a 3-digit number by a 2-digit number? Thank you children.